Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Today, we're going to be reading Sithis. Hmm. Sithis is the start of the house. Before, before him was nothing, but the foolish Atmer have names for and revere this nothing. That is because they are lazy slaves. Hmm. Indeed, from the sermons, stasis asks merely of itself, which is nothing. Okay. Sithis sundered the nothing and mutated the parts, fashioning from them a myriad of possibilities. These ideas ebbed and flowed and faded away, and this is how it should have been. One idea, however, became jealous and did not want to die. Like the stasis, he wanted to last. This was the demon, Oriel, who made friends, and they called themselves the Aedra. They enslaved everything that Sithis had made and created realms of everlasting imperfection. Thus are the Aedra the false gods, that is, illusion. So Sithis begat Lorcan, Lorcan, Lorcan and sent him to destroy the universe. Lorcan, unstable mutant. Lorcan had found the Aedric weakness. While each rebel was, by their nature, immeasurable, they were, though, wait, th wait, they were, through jealousy and vanity, also separate from each other. They were also unwilling to go back to the nothing of before. So while they ruled their false dominions, Lorcan filled the void with a myriad of new ideas. The ideas were legion. Soon it seemed that Lorcan had a dominion of his own, with slaves of everlasting imperfections, and he seemed for all the world like an Aedra. Thus did he present himself as such to the demon Oriel and the eight givers as a friend. Go unto the Shalmat Dagath Ur as a friend. Oh God. A Hamamoa Altaton Padame Loken A Al. Don't get it that much, but hey, that was Sithis. <laughs> and this has been another reading of the Elder Scrolls. That's a short one. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.